Here is the latest from Earth Now. This display shows the NOAA Climate Digest for December 2013. The Climate Digest summarizes noteworthy statistics for the month, season, and year. The average global land and ocean temperature for December was the third warmest since records began in 1880. In fact, Argentina had a persistent heat wave causing several temperature records to be broken. However, the United States experienced its coldest December since 2009, the 21st coldest since records began in 1895. Meanwhile, Alaska experienced its fifth wettest December since records began in 1918. On the other end of the precipitation spectrum, Australia had below average precipitation, with Queensland experiencing its third driest December since records began in 1900. Another warm area for December was Russia. In fact, the warmth led to the warmest November to December period since 1900, when records began. In mid-December, up to 20 inches of snow fell in Israel's Jerusalem. This was unusually early and intense for the region. Finally, the United Kingdom and Germany both had warmer than normal months, with the UK experiencing its warmest since December 1988. This real-time dataset is updated monthly and shows the global land and ocean temperature anomalies. Anomalies are simply departures from average. Blue portions of the map, as seen in the United States, indicate below average temperatures throughout December 2013. Red portions of the map, as seen in Russia, highlight regions around the world that experienced above average warmth. White indicates near average conditions. This real-time dataset shows sea surface temperature anomalies measured by NOAA satellites. Blue colors indicate cooler than normal ocean temperatures, whereas red indicates warmer than normal ocean temperatures. Globally, the ocean surface temperature average was the seventh warmest December on record. In the eastern tropical Pacific, NOAA's Climate Prediction Center predicts that neutral El Nino-La Nina conditions will continue into the northern hemisphere summer. This real-time dataset collected by microwave sensors on NOAA satellites shows snow and ice cover updated daily. Watch the progression of days and note the retreat and expansion of snowfall. The December sea ice extent for the Arctic was the fourth lowest since satellite records began in 1979. Finally, we'll move to Antarctica and discover that its sea ice extent was the second largest on record. And that's your December 2013 Climate Digest. For more information, please visit the website shown at the end of this video.